So Kyle, what kind of beer are we brewing today? We're brewing a Japanese rice lager. Cool, that sounds great. <laughs> Welcome to my crib. What's up, MTV? Come on in, you broke mother We're brewing beer in the backyard today. Let me give you a little crib tour. First stop, my van. All right, this is my backyard. Where should we start? The no, sandbox. Sandbox. This is where I do all my digging. Next stop on the cribs tour. Tricycle. <laughs> this is my neighbor's car. He says he's gonna get it running someday. This is what happens to the people that piss me off. This is where I relieve myself when I gotta go real bad and I don't have time to make it back into the house. Thus concludes the cribs tour. <laughs> <laughs> now time to brew some beer. Now we're gonna go cook this rice. Everybody, be quiet. My wife's in there. She's on a business call. All right. You get in trouble. Yeah. I will get in trouble. Cow get in trouble. <laughs> get in trouble. He doesn't listen. All right. We're in the belly of the beast. You gotta be real quiet, dude. I, I did not know how much uh, water to put in. That's okay. Down um, let's grind the grains while that rice is cooking. You want to go grab that rice off the stove? Yeah, let's get it. So our rice has been cooking. So as you can see, our rice still is Got some body to it. Wasn't stirred during the process. Nice and cooked. Oh man, that's really good. Whoops. So uh, this is called acid malt. It uh, just helps drop the pH down into the proper range, which is like 5.2 to 5.5. Man, I forgot to put the bazooka screen in. We're gonna go. Uh, What's the bazooka? Oh, you're going. The little screen in the bottom. This is what I forgot. This, <laughs> this is what I forgot. <laughs> if Tommy wants to man up and just put his hand in this 150 degree water, we can still use it. I'm okay. Man up now, man up. We're gonna go unprotected for this. <laughs> this uh, brew day. Let's hook the hoses up. We should have the hoses up. All right, Let's cool. Do that. So what are we doing now? We're uh yeah. add our green. Yeah. Five point two to five point four is like you nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Well, we got the tent set up just in time for the sun to come back out after it rained for two minutes. So that's why we're under a tent now. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, now that our mesh is over, we're gonna pull our grain basket. So this uh, grain, if you have a compost pile, you can just dump it right in there. It's great for it. And we have one right over there. Oh man, yeah. what are the odds what of that? What are the odds? Let's heat it to boil. All right. Let's boil it. And now we're at 100% of power. We're gonna use 0.4 ounces of the Sriracha Ace. We need to bust out Tommy's Coke scale here. Coke scale? Yeah. <laughs> they didn't bring a little bowl. We are up to a boil. <laughs> Bang. 60 minute edition is right here. 0.4 ounces of Sriracha Ace. Going in. Yeah. I mean, 60 minutes. Cracked it. Actually, 45 minutes, right? And you add your... 
Bye. You lose. All right, so it's been uh, 45 minutes since we started our boil. Now we're gonna add one of the World Fox tablets for 15 minutes. All right, our 60 minute boil's done. We just decided to dump the rest of these hops in here because uh, why not? I mean, we're, I'm yeah, not gonna. Why not? Because we have like six ounces or whatever hops. That what am I gonna use to rush at Ace Hops for? I don't. For this beer. Yeah, for <laughs> this beer. We're just gonna make it like a kind of mildly semi hoppy lager. I don't know. Yeah. Not like super hoppy, but somewhat hoppy. Uh, all right. It's a pretty high alpha acid. We don't make want to make it super bitter since it's gonna be pretty light, which is why we're doing this at the very end. So yeah, kill the heat. It's also time to circulate. Work through the chiller to work in on that. We'll go work out. We're a little short on water. According to my business papers, we're supposed to be at five and three quarter gallon right now. And we are only at there, like five and a third. Yeah. Five and a third. What I'm gonna do is while it's still hot, I'm gonna add some water. Yeah, you're like right there. Oh yeah, there we go. I think we went a little over on the boil while we were filming the epic battle that we just had. All right. All right, let's cool this puppy down. Yeah, cool it down. So I'm gonna use the water that's coming out of the chiller hose to fill my star sand bucket up. And then after I'm done filling this bucket up, I'm going to uh, just run the hose over to where I'm growing some plants, which is a good way to conserve water when you're brewing in your backyard. So now our word is uh, cooled down to 68 degrees, 67. We're in a... Transfer it to our fermenter. Yeah. A little over five. It's good. Dude, it's all in French. What is this bullshit? Oh, I heard you. Know <laughs> we speak English. We're doing two packs. Safflogger 3470. <sighs> Dipped in star sand. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. There you go, buddy. This might be the tastiest beer I think we've made. You really think so? Dude, I love this. I don't know what it is about it. It's so, like, smooth. Excited to try it. Well, Japanese lager is done. Uh, it was like 100% perfectly done, uh, I want to say 20 minutes ago, crystal, crystal clear. <laughs> and then I think Kabe, uh, who's our cameraman right now, took the keg and shook it up as hard <laughs> as he could on the way over to the kegerator. Just trying to be helpful and be proactive and you know put it on tap. Um, something happened and it shook up all the sediment in the bottom and now we got country style lemonade lager here. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, we'll we'll wait for this to. Well, hopefully this has to like settled out in the intro. You'll be able to see like what it actually looks like when it's settled out. But eh, whatever, man. Let's just fucking yeah. drink it. I'm sure it'll still be good. Dude. It's yeah, so good. It is really good. Oh my god. It's really god. good. I don't really know like why it's so good though. So it's like really light. It's really crisp. Too. Yeah. And there's uh, a little bit of hops I get up front, and they just kind of dissipate. It's got a crispness to it, you know, like a you know like a lager should, I guess. But there's it also has like a soft like after you. Yeah, it's not like it's not like it. you know some pilsners. 
uh, even like a traditional, like the Koenig Pilsner um, from Germany, it's got a little bit of a bitter finish. Yeah. Um, this is just real smooth. Yeah, and and it kind of has even like a little sweet finish, mm -hmm. but it's not overly sweet by any means. I, you can taste the rice in it yeah. as well. We, we, we put a fair amount of rice in there. How, like long, did, how long did you lager this beer for? Man, this has been, well, when did we brew this? Like a couple it's months like, ago, Yeah, right? two months. Yeah, almost. it's been sitting for a couple months, so. It's, it's amazing so to good. like, know that this is what light lager could taste like from the store that's mm -hmm. made with rice, but it doesn't. This tastes so much better. Yeah, so I remember we tried it after we brewed it. Um, it had some sharper notes, and then, so it's the lagering that's softening this. Yeah, like the lagering, what happens is the yeast just kind of hangs out in the keg. Once it eats all the sugar it can eat, it will start breaking down other stuff. Okay. Well, Dude, 100% cool. man. I yeah. would this again. I wouldn't mind having this on tap all the time. Yeah. Because I don't know what... Uh, you can like you drink this every day. Dude, why not? Anytime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kind of have been drinking a little bit every day. <laughs> Nice man. Nice yeah. work, Tommy. Nice work. Good suggestion. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. And uh, check out the rest of our videos on YouTube. Or are you watching this video right now? <laughs> See ya. See ya.